Some nerds, I'm... No, oh, it's creaky chair. Some nerds, I'm Joshua Talby. Uh... Look, I've been thinking. I've been working on the Doctor Doom cosplay, or Doctor Doom cosplay in general, for over a year. To be honest, I'm a little burnt out. I'm happy I finished a costume, but the finished product that I showed at Las Cusas Comic Con was a little underwhelming. So switching gears and trying to do a more comic book accurate costume, uh, I just think I need to step away from Doctor Doom for a little bit, which is something I do when I'm working on projects and I get a little bit like blah on it. I switch gears and I just work on other things. So for the next few weeks I'm going to be working on some vanity projects, just some stuff for me or for other people. One, it'll let my desire for the Doctor Doom stuff sort of rebuild and heal a little bit so that when I'm ready to go back to it I'm, I'm really ready to go. Was that for me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just filming. Sounds like you're having a heart attack. Nope, I'm alright. Two, Working on other projects will allow me to sort of hone some of my skills and kind of maybe learn some things, play with some new techniques. So the first thing I'm going to be working on is Gore Child. Now if you don't know what Gore Child is, I'm not surprised. I'm a big fan of Warhammer 40k and I've sort of had in my, the back of my mind that I would at some point like to do a Chaos Space Marine cosplay, which is way out of my league at this point. But I just still want to... Shut up, stomach. But I still just want to play around with some techniques and stuff like that. So I thought a great way to start to do that is by making one of my favorite weapons. So let's just jump right into it. Now for starters, I got a reference photo off the internet just by googling Gore Child. I found this picture, which is actually pretty accurate to the model. There are a lot of fan art and a lot of other pictures of it out there that are really spectacular, but this seems really simple and pretty easy, so I, I went with it. Now as far as scaling goes, I took the picture and I looked at pictures of the model to sort of try to guess how big the overall weapon is. I'm not going to go over my process on how I scale this because to be honest my math skills really suck and I uh, don't want to lead anybody astray. Let's just say that I did it. So all that sort of work got me this, which is a pattern of the axe blade, which is Primarily what we're going to be dealing with today. Once I had this cut out, I transferred it onto foam. Basically what I did is I cut three different pieces of foam. I have a center piece which is cut out of half inch uh, EVA foam. There. Now one side of that is textured, but that's going to be okay because I'm going to sandwich it with two pieces of quarter inch foam. The reason I did this is because I need a channel in the center where I can apply the teeth or where I can have the blades of the chain axe sticking out. I just use contact cement. It's probably the best and easiest way to do it. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that stuff. I'm rambling. I'm so sick. For the teeth, I just took some measurements from the computer and just made like a rough hand sketch. They didn't need to be perfect. They ended up really not being perfect, but that's okay because we're learning. I cut out nine teeth, which I only ended up using seven, but that's okay. I took a Dremel sanding bit and I shape them. This was something I haven't really done a lot of before and I kind of jacked up a couple of them in the process but whatever they're supposed to be made out of like dragon teeth so maybe it's not that bad that they're not all perfect. I went ahead and got the heat gun and I heat sealed the the teeth tips to kind of help smooth them out a little bit so they're not so rough. Now uh, quickly in order to get the teeth secured and adhered to the inside of that groove that I made I used hot glue, which is not an adhesive I'm a big fan of. I know a lot of other foam smiths swear by it and they use it a lot. Uh, I live in the desert and it gets really hot and that tends not to hold very well, but I thought screw it, let's just give it a try and see how it goes. I hot glued the sides and the bottom and stuck it into that groove and I did that seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So at the end of the day, well, at the end of two days, what I'm left with is this. This is just the axe blade of Gore Child. Now I still have some sanding to do, uh, working on some of these edges, and then I gotta figure out how I'm going to attach it to the shaft. The shaft is just a PVC pipe, uh, I think it's an inch uh, wide. I cut it to 28 inches because that's what my math told me it should be. So yeah, I gotta figure out how to attach it and then add more detail to the shaft, but that'll be in another video. Don't forget, I am having a contest. All you need to do is be subscribed to the channel, 
leave a comment to this video and all the other videos I do in November, and you'll be entered each time for a chance to win something made by me that you get to choose. I think I decided I'm going to have a max budget of $50, but whatever. We'll talk about it. So please be subscribed, leave a comment, and maybe win something cool. Stay tuned for next week's video where I will continue working on Core Child. I'll be adding details probably to the axe head, maybe trying to figure out how to get attached to the shaft, and we'll go from there. That's it for today, guys. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you got a minute, share this with your friends. Bye, nerds.